when you talk about, uh, you know, it was a tough call, some people would sit up there and think about the fact that, you know, the federal government, state and local officials have been preaching for over a week now about the importance of social distancing. When you listen to some of these Olympic athletes, they talked about working out with one another. They talked about the fact that they would be exposed to one another because obviously they still had to train because they were anticipating that the games would still go on. So in light of that reality, I mean, how are you guys feeling right now about the fact that it took you this long to make a decision because that's a week, more than a week that's gone by and potential exposure may have actually taken place because the games had not been postponed or suspended? Yeah, I think some of those measures by governments have actually predated uh, some of these things so that the restrictions were already in place and athletes who are um, conscious of the, the, the risk of the, the virus were, were keeping that social distance. It, it might affect the, the, the particular training activities they could do. But our, our responsibility to, to everybody was to, to wait and make sure that uh, there was no likelihood that the games could proceed in July of this year and then take the, the decision in cooperation with the Japanese authorities that, uh, okay, it, it, the public health issues override the even something as important as the Olympics. Let's redo it. Uh, we'll come back in a year, hope that the virus is uh, under better control, and we can have the Olympics as, a, as an affirmation of uh, the... the uh, the, the idea that it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, what's really important is how many times you get up and carry on. So that's what we're hoping to do, and I, th I think that will be a good message if we can put it together. And that this would not affect the date of any fo Olympics going forward, correct? In other words, if it's in 2021, then the, then the following Olympics will be in the years that they have normally been, yes? That's right, yes. It just... You just sort of jig the uh, the um, time forward by a year, but uh, the 2002 games in uh, the Winter Games in in China will go ahead in 2002, and then Paris in 2024, and we should be back on schedule. Sir, uh, uh, Lolo Jones was on Get Up, uh, the show Get Up on ESPN earlier this morning uh, that precedes us, and she talked about how drug testing had stopped. Uh, for Olympians. Is that true? And if indeed that is true, uh, how come, you know, again, we talk about the delay in the decision. What was that about? Why was there no drug testing that was taking place? I think the, the answer is obvious, but I'm still asking anyway, why no drug testing was taking place? And how did you all anticipate that would affect the Olympics in the, in the event that the games were, were going to take place? Well, there are two things. Uh, one is that the, the, the testing was reduced as a result of the uh, restrictions uh, caused by the the virus. Uh, the second is that that sort of on the spot drug testing doesn't catch as many people as investigations, uh, as uh, whistleblowers, and as the athlete uh, biological passport can do it. So there are lots of ways that that uh, doping can be detected without catching somebody on the spot uh, providing a urine sample. So it, I think it's important to have that uh, in place, but, but frankly, far more uh, doping violations result from non-analytical uh, positive uh, tests. Um, the, the explanation, just getting back to the, po the kind of delay of the postponement of the games, um, the explanation sounds credible to me, hoping that governments would respond better than they did. The, the pandemic could be contained, and then it could go on, you know, in, in due course. But given the, the response of Trump, especially early on, it was disconnected from the reality. We have five cases. We're going to go to no cases. We have it under control. We have it. As the cases kept rising and rising, it became pretty obvious, as Stephen A. said, at least a week ago, that this was out of control, that this was not being contained at the highest level, at least of this government, and that, that it was a worldwide pandemic. I guess my question is, are, are you saying that there was a lag time for the committee between how they hoped governments would respond and the way they actually responded, or that it's such an unwieldy kind of huge th you know, thing that it, 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 it can't, you can't be as nimble making decisions as maybe other organizations? 
Well, governments are certainly bigger and, and uh, often more cumbersome than uh, uh, than other organizations. On the other hand, they have the power to Im impose uh, restrictions, and it, it, it clearly has taken some governments longer than others to, to become alert to the the mathematics of a of a pandemic. And uh, you've seen in, in Spain and in, in Italy and France that are all locked down these days. And uh, I think the the United States was slow to get off the uh, the mark on this, and and uh, you know there's a lot more travel involving uh, U.S. Uh, uh, citizens and residents because uh, they're in business and they have international connect connections. So they're uh, you know they're going to have been exposed to the virus more than perhaps uh, uh, a more sedentary or or more uh, rural uh, mm -hmm. population. Uh, mm -hmm. But now I think uh, no matter where you are on the political spectrum, this is a real problem. And and uh, if you look at the the number of cases coming up every day, it's pretty clear that it would have been reckless to persist with uh, trying to hold the games in July of this year. And that's that's the decision that we made as the IOC in, in conjunction with the Japanese authorities who recognize the same sort of uh, issues.